The place that they chose for orientation in Kuwait was a huge resort set right on the ocean. Had, I think, three swimming pools. So it was better than the Wyndham in Texas or the Ritz. It was fancied up. Marble floors, mahogany woodwork. It was just beautiful. They had sea dews, jet skis they could use. You could go and rent wave runners and go out and play in the water. We were renting wave runners, and we got paid by the hour to do it. I was told this, don't question it, enjoy it. Several government agencies are currently investigating if Halliburton overcharged for work already completed in Iraq. They had five-star meals catered in every day. It was so lavish. Rows of vegetable platters, beef platters, fish platters. It's a cost plus contract. KBR looked at it, the more money we spend, that's the more money we get in our pockets. We had it made over there compared to the military. I mean, those guys were living in tents and we had air-conditioned private hooches. The tents that we were staying in were completely moldy and everybody was getting sick with respiratory infections. They're getting paid millions of dollars. Why can't they even give us a tent that doesn't make us sick to live in it? The soldiers are sleeping on these little cots out in the middle of the desert. Why these KBR executives are driving these $40,000 vehicles. They and their secretaries are driving at least a thirty dollars to $40,000 vehicle. This secretary lives in this complex, eats her meals in this complex, has her laundry delivered to her, has no reason to go anywhere at any time, but has a brand new top of the line Ford or Chevy pickup with everything imaginable on it that you could put on it chrome rims and leather interior and CD players and all these extra amenities that, you know, you don't really need in wartime. Why do they need an H-2 Hummer? Why do they have Cadillac Escalades in Iraq for Halliburton managers? What is the purpose? One invoice that I saw was for about $7,000 for one month for a SUV on a lease. It was a three-year contract comes up to uh, roughly $250,000. A vehicle that you and I could purchase at the local dealership for probably top of the line 